it's in. I'm back. I keep coming back. I'm a bad penny. Anyway, let me get my proper attire here. I am doing a dirty half dozen collab with my collab friends and it's an Easter Bunny collab. Well, Easter. Um, yeah, I found me some blue ears to go with my favorite blue shirt and my blue necklace. I have bunny ears. Anyway, I have put on some foundation. It's the e.l.f. Serum Foundation along with the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Primer and the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Moisturizer. I have it on already because I had to drive somebody to an appointment this morning. And I didn't really want to go out in this bright sunshiny day without having my sunscreen. We know that's a bad idea. Anyway. Yeah, I know. I'm anyweighing everything again. I keep trying to get rid of that. It's almost as bad as... Leanne and her actually, which we've turned into a drinking game by now. Anyway, the Dirty Half Dozen is Anya Stamper, Leanne Soreo, Allison Krauss, Danielle Gerstenberger, also known as Glamberger, and Valerie from Gimme Lip and More, who is finally back from her travels. <sighs> and me. We have entirely too much fun working together. We really do. And I love it. I really, really love it. These ladies have become like my sisters. And believe me, it's a joy. So, since I've already got the foundation on, and I've put a little setting powder on it to get it to stay put, and I put my eyebrows on, got my little eyebrows, I'm going to take my current favorite, which is the Elsa palette, and I'm going to do something that goes along with Easter eggs and Easter and my interpretation of at least fun parts of the holiday for some people this is a very very joyful holiday but yeah this is more on the frivolous side however it will be something that's reasonably wearable for attending worship services it's not going to be way over the top let's do this okay I am going to start with an actual setting well priming powder this is the Sephora beauty amplifier lid and liner primer and it's a powder i picked this up in one of the sephora sample size boxes that they had as a leftover from sephora play and picked it up during one of the sales so it was yes it still fits my cheap aesthetic <laughs> it's just kind of a beigey powder and it flows on like putting silk on and I find that it's very comfortable to wear in warm weather now some of the background noises you may or not be able to hear is because it is very warm here today in eastern Oregon well southeastern Oregon 
and my room gets a lot of sun during the day. So, we've got the windows open for the fresh air. And my husband is out working in the yard. He's been taking care of some of the stuff in the yard. Include, yeah, you're supposed to do pruning in the fall. But it was our first fall here and we were not set up and ready to do things like use a chipper because we didn't have one didn't have money for one that happens when you first move and you're moving across country I mean we left hurricane territory and came up here to earthquake territory I'm not sure that was necessarily better but I like the climate better the humidity is almost non-existent unless it's actually raining and that's because we're in the the high desert area we're not on the coast we're closer to idaho than we are the ocean so that leaves us with some very nice very dry air and the humidity in Florida was about to kill my lungs. They don't need any help dying. I have enough problems with my lungs. Anyway, there I go again. Everybody grab a drink. Mm. I'm going to start. Let's see. I've been playing with the pinky colors. Maybe I'll go with a bluesy color today instead of the binks. Take a little blue. Now, these shades do not have names. So even if you get the Elsa palette, I can show you where it is in the palette, but they don't have names. So... If you pick up the Elsa palette and want to know which ones I used, let me know you've got it. Set, drop me a line and I will tell you the ones that I picked out. Because otherwise it takes that just that much, little much longer, little much, little, can't even talk little longer a little more effort and my arms ache enough today that doing the blending part is going to be enough but I will show you which ones or tell you which ones I picked instead of trying to show you while we go along here Like I said, my arms are not happy today, so. Between the basic arthritis in my shoulders, and my arms, and my hands, and the fibro pain that I'm currently having, Picking the palette up and trying to hold it would not be pleasant. So, yeah. Now, if I disappear from the screen just a little bit, because I'm getting very close to my mirror, please remember I just took my glasses off and I am not able to see what I'm doing without the glasses because I don't have my contacts yet. That's another thing that's like, yeah, it's a little spendy. So it takes a minute once you move to start doing the, you know, less urgent stuff as you get time 
and start putting your finances back together. Because, you know, buying a house, moving 3,000 miles, yeah, it's a little spendy. Which is another reason I like my budget buys on <laughs> everything. Alrighty, now, let's see. I think... Watch it. <laughs> cover off my color switch here. Yes, yeah, so let me remind you again, if you go to Dollar Tree and pick up one of these little tins, see it's got a nice little lid and everything. Pick up one of these little tins and pick up a ponytail donut. You too can make your own cheap ass color switch. Or, you can just use a washcloth. Those work very well, actually. They, they really do work well. Okay, I've got a minty green that I'm going to work with next. I'll get my little spray bottle here. Please remember not to spray over your palette. The last thing you want is to wet your eyeshadows while they're still in the pan because hard pan is a pain in the backside. A little bit of minty green. I'm going to start here on the inner portion. Just because I feel like doing it that way today. I'm putting just a little pressure and drag on the brush to help put the foil this shadow. Now, when I put the next color in, I'm going to keep this brush handy so that I can do kind of a little back and forth between this color and the next color so that we get a bit of a blend. Since I want this to be relatively, like I said, wearable even to places of worship and not looking like you're necessarily going to the municipal Easter egg hunt right now or that you're a participant or in it. Have you guys seen the, the new egg colors? I'm walking through the store the other day and they not only had tie-dye looking stuff, which they've done for a while, that's a trick with some shaving cream a lot of times. That is so pretty. Get some cheap shaving cream from the Dollar Tree, spray it in a pan, a flat pan like a cookie sheet drop food color in all kinds of places and then just roll the eggs through it and then wait for the shaving cream to dry down wash them off the food color will stay in these amazing patterns but I've now seen a pause p-a-a-z you know the old standard pause egg dye that's in metallics metallics oh. 
chemical science has gotten beyond me again. Yes, this is my concentration face. I have to keep my mouth open and keep my correct side of my mouth to be able to do any of this. Okay. Let's see, who do I want to accost next? Alright, I've got a shimmer green, which is kind of an olive, and then I've got a matte green, which is definitely a grass green, but I think I'm going to save the grass green for under my eyes, I think. I think I think and for those of you making smart aleck comments about I think I think shut up <laughs> it's like I will come looking for you I will find you Or as one of my favorite people sa just says, they just look at you and go, hush you. several different denominations are celebrating Easter this weekend. But being raised in a particular denomination that's pretty basic on a lot of stuff and having moved on from that very basic denomination because of philosophical differences I support equal rights for everybody and they have some interpretations of the book that have been led to be interpreted as no not everybody and I went on about my business but in that particular denomination in the congregation I was raised in, Easter was an interesting situation. We'd get up and do the sunrise thing. But for the most part, the once we got past the main worship service in the afternoon, it was all about what you were wearing and Easter hats and a picnic in the churchyard and egg hunts for the kids. We didn't have particular feast or fast days or anything like that that we did and I haven't 
since joined any denomination that has any particular feast or fast days associated with this particular religious event so I have no idea what the particulars are for what anybody in specific is doing this weekend. I know that tomorrow I will be going to our local park because they're doing an, an accessible Easter egg hunt for special needs kids and both of my grandkids are autistic. So, that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. And probably on Sunday I will be baking a ham or something like that. We will have a reasonably sized family dinner. And we will probably watch something like Peter Cottontail. Which reminds me, this year is the 150th anniversary of Beatrix Potter's um, birthday. And if you are not familiar, Beatrix Potter is the lady who wrote the Peter Cottontail book series for children. So, it's, you know, there's all kinds of stuff going on. La, la, la. Let's see, where do I want to go next? Yeah, my husband is tromping through and needed his, his water bottle. He got silly and left it in here. This one, because I've got a seriously darker green that I'm going to tap over here on the side. It's a little more olive, doing the going towards the olive drab thing. It's not so dark that it's going to, like, you know, look like I've smeared black all over. I don't want it to be quite that dark. So I'm barely tapping the pan. One of the things that I absolutely love about the Elsa palette from Beauty Creations is how easy this palette pays off. It really does. It For an inexpensive palette, the colors are gorgeous. And the payoff in pigment is delightful. Just a little bit went a little too far. Da, 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 da. Okay. I think that's about even. What do you think? About even? It, it hard to tell without being able to see anything. Now, I'm going to take just a little bit of that pale green again. And I'm going to just sneak that right in here 
under that brow just not wet it just sneak it in there and leave that little space there to so that I look like a modern woman instead of my 60 year old self who started off doing makeup and learned to take it all the way to the brow. Have you ever seen Bewitched? The old version with Agnes Moorhead playing and Dora, Sam's mom. Yeah, all the way up. <laughs> I actually used to love that makeup look. I thought Endora looked really classy. I wasn't big on the purple gown, though. Yeah, just not big on the purple gown. Alrighty. Now, let's see what other trouble I can get myself into. There is a pale, pale goldy color in the corner in here and it's it's kind of a gold peach and I'm gonna pop that right there towards the middle of the eye okay it doesn't want to stick well enough to show up so we will do the thing I will get out the glitter glue woohoo woohoo here comes the glitter glue well this one says glitter primer it's inexpensive glitter primer but this is kind of a cream version I've also got one that's a liquid with a little doe foot that's absolutely clear. This has got kind of a little beige color to it. Now that I've got my little finger all sticky. Just to put a little pop of bright right there in the center of that eye. Just because. Just cause I can is basically the concept here. Dust that around a little bit. Keep it from looking quite so stark. Stained, clean, but stained. Don't cry. I'm not rubbing red all over my green. That would be so wrong. Yeah, red with green looks pretty good for Christmas, but red on top of your green just looks like mud. Okay. A little bit there. Take this other hand so I can keep track of what I'm doing. And pop that gold, that peachy gold, right here on the eye, which I apparently got a little wider than this one. Kind of try and smear it out just a little. Yeah, I am not always. All right, where did I throw the cap? I threw it somewhere. I'll have to find it. Ah. 
I put it somewhere where I could find it. I think that was a mistake. Okay. I'm going to try putting just a little more on this side. Widen that out just a little bit. Kind of try to match. Sort of. Yes, I'm still doing my concentration face, guys. That's where you get all these funky face maneuvers going on. Okay. I'll take a wipe to that mess. Give this one the same little bit of dusting around here. Now I think I've got this one wider. I'm leaving it alone now. <laughs> Just because. And then I'm going to pick up on a slightly fluffy brush just a little bit more of this green put that back right there and pull it up here tap that back in over here too back up in the crease and then I will refresh that blue as well that I started with. Possibly even take it up a little bit further. So that we get to keep that other color there. disappear completely or at least I don't if you decide that if the blue disappears if you decide it looks better go for it in there a little bit so that because I had some plate this little plate I've got all these wrinkles okay and if you look part of trying to get this done is trying to get those little wrinkles to separate enough to get the color all the way in I think that's doing pretty good. Alrighty. I'm going to put a little more bright in now. Here, little brush. Okay, I'll get this little brush. Fine, I'll just go get a different little brush because the other one has. Don't you just love quick transitions? Anyway, little blush, little bronzer, very subtle. Okay, normally I don't do subtle, and we know that. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not going out to the club. I'm going Easter egg hunting with my grandchildren in a small town. 
I don't need to look like I'm going out to a club or to a festival and Coachella is a far distance from here. <laughs> okay. I am going to finish this up. Do a little line work on the bottom. Do a little this and that on the bottom. Do a little line work even on the top. Because I'm going to take this dark blue from ELF and do my tight line. Don't look too close. You'll figure out how bad I'm at, I am at this. Yes, this eye doesn't stay open while I'm doing this very much because this eye does not trust this hand all that well. And then I'm going to take this green and go in the lower water line and right along the lashes And then I'm going to do what I threatened and take this little bitty brush and that really bright matte green and run it right under Because who ever heard of an egg basket with no grass in it? Stop that right there. Pick up some of that pale gold, just because I like the pale gold. And run it under the front edge of the lower lash line to start putting a little pop there. So far, so good, right? Looks pretty wearable <clears throat> for most people. Then again, we know about me. So, you know, I'm going to have to do something a little bit outrageous, like in the inner corner. 
just because that would be mean. Yep. Put just a little bitty pop of sunrise. Just a little pop of sunrise. I can never do anything simple. I tell you it's not my fault, but yeah, it kind of is. Alrighty. Put my mascara on. This is the Wander Mascara. Now everything I've got on my face should be listed below in the description. If I forget, please leave me a comment and say get on the job. But I got this as part of a gift that I was given when a darling friend of mine was starting to declutter her collection of samples and back stocks and backups and extras and just ain't going to get two of them and all that stuff. Will I buy it again? Probably not. It's a little expensive. Do I like it? Oh yeah. This is really good stuff. I likes it lots. And unless you haven't been paying attention to some of my earlier vids talking about using the 
Rimmel Lash Serum. You may not notice that my eyelashes have gotten significantly longer. If you're new here, hi. I just started using some Rimmel Lash Serum. No, I'm not sponsored. Only thing on my face that's even close to anything that could be called sponsored is the Apto Skin Mist, the Antioxidant Mist, <laughs> that I got in PR. That's as close to sponsored as I get. I love that stuff too. What do you think? Are we getting there? <clears throat> Lip. Wet and wild cat suit high shine. This is called Taffy Tantrum. Now, whenever I hear taffy when it comes to colors, I kind of expect, expect a very light, kind of caramelly brown, but this looks like bubblegum on a rampage. T ta taffy tantrum? No, bubblegum on a rampage. Now, I love this formula, but I got to tell you, the metallic liquid cat suit, no. Now, I love wet and wild stuff. So when I saw the metallic liquid cat suit, I jumped right on it because it's gorgeous. However, it's very drying on my 60-year-old mouth. The high shine doesn't dry down as hard as the metallic does. Let's see. Okay, no lipstick on the teeth. <clears throat> I don't like the metallic because it gets such a hard dry down that it sucks all the moisture out of my lips and they get all crunkly and crunchy looking and big, huge creases and I'm going... I put moisturizers and stuff on my mouth to prevent this kind of thing. What the heck? So, I'm like, yeah, no. I gave that to my daughter-in-law. She's much younger. We're going to let her try it. But, the high shine and the matte, love, love. Anyway. Let me drop this mirror just a little bit. Here we go. What do you think? I'll give it a little shot with my setting spray. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose. I love rose. I love rose. Get that dried down. Dollar Tree, y'all. I kid you not, Dollar Tree. All kinds of colors. They're beautiful. They're also great for going to picnics and that kind of thing because 
they work great as both fly swatters and annoyance thumpers. It's like you can always swat that reaching hand that's trying to grab for food before it's been set right smartly across the knuckles and you will have their attention. I hope you like the look. Please go check out the rest of the ladies from the group. They're all listed in the description below. I keep them there all the time. Every video that I've done since getting into the group. And I hope you come back and visit. Remember, I don't have bail money. Be good. Thank you.